today we are going to discuss about maturation in the chapter 4 excretion 10th biology okay what is maturation maturation is also called as urination okay maturation is also called as urination then what is the definition of that maturation the process of excreting the process of excreting urine from urinary bladder the process of excreting urine from urinary bladder is called as maturation okay then this maturation how it happens we all know that urine it just collected in the collecting ducts later it enters into the pelvic region pelvis then it travels into uh, the ureters okay first urine collected in the collecting ducts or collecting tubes later it travel to the pelvis from pelvis to they just enter into the ureters by using a movement called as a peristalsis okay peristaltic movement and by the help of gravity the urine just travels and reaches a part called as urinary bladder this part is called as urinary bladder and the urinary bladder we all know that it is a stretchable organ it is it can able to stretch it. then see here this urinary bladder is generally made up of two sets of a circular splinter muscles two sets of circular splinter muscles in that the first one is called as internal urethral splinter internal urethral splinter and this internal urethral splinter is involuntary in function involuntary in function by listening this involuntary the word involuntary indicates that it is not under our control and this uh, internal urethral splinter it just made up of smooth muscles okay the internal urethral splinter is made up of smooth muscles and it is involuntary in functions means it is not under our control it is under the control of autonomous nervous system then move to the next one uh, the next set of circular splinters is called as a external urethral splinter external urethral splinter and this splinter is made up of skeletal muscles the external urethral splinter is made up of skeletal muscles and it is voluntary in function means it is under the control of our brain okay like these two sets of uh, uh, splinters they just make the process of uh, maturation in a proper way and the first one whenever our urinary bladder is filled with 300 to 400 ml of urine then the brain it send a signal it just indicates an urge for urination at that time uh, the involuntary means uh, the internal urethral splinter it just relax it just opens okay as it is not under under our control it just opens whenever the urinary bladder filled with 300 to 400 ml of urine though our urinary bladder has capacity about 700 to 800 ml 700 to 800 ml of urine if we wait for 700 to 800 ml of urine whenever the urinary bladder filled with 700 to 800 ml of urine then the urination process is just painful the arch may become painful that's why at this time only people generally go for maturation process at this time only our brain sends signal and urge for urination okay though the urinary bladder have capacity of 700 to 800 ml and here uh, whenever the urinary bladder filled with 300 to 400 ml of urine the first splinter muscle just uh, relax and it opens later uh, 
depending on our brain signals the next set of a splinter called as external urethral splinter it just open under our control depending on the social conditions we just depending on our wish is it just relax and opens then the maturation process occurs then urine go out of our body it just send out of our body by this process and per day we people can able to excrete about 1.6 1.8 liters of urine this um, range it just varies from person to person some people they may take uh, more amounts of liquids in in their diet generally most of the people they have interest to take more and more water and fruit juices and some other people they may take very less amount of liquids depending on that habits uh, the range may varies in some people it may be higher than this in some people it may be lower than this okay whatever it is we people have to take uh, the plenty of water in order to fulfill uh, the water requirement for each and every cell in our body we have trillions of cells each and every cell need water for metabolic activities if we consume very less water then uh, within few days we may get some health problems because of the uh, availability of the water is very very less for a cell that's why every person have to take more amount of water plenty of water then we did not get any kidney related problems and other health issues it just depends on the intake of water of a person okay this is about maturation once again repeat what is the definition of maturation the process of excreting urine from urinary bladder is called as maturation okay this is about today's class i'll meet you tomorrow with another new topic